it's an exciting day here at the Watercolors Aquarium Gallery. We have received our first shipment of Biota Fish. Biota is a wholesale company that specializes in tank bred marine fish. So let's see what we got. I've been holding out that they haven't yeah. had a chance to look. I've seen the fish, but I haven't let them see them. Really excited. This is the first ship, all captive raised shipment we've gotten of fish that aren't just clownfish, so. Oh all my right. gosh. First one. Look at that heart tail blending. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Isn't cool? Beautiful. Oh, for being so teeny, the color is so bright. They're great little fish. Part of the fang blenny group which means they have outward pointing little venomous fangs that are designed to bite the inside of a fish's mouth. Very that cool. makes them a pretty bold fish because they really don't have to be too afraid. Mm. All right, get ready for this. Oh, oh. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't he cool? He's so small. This is a coral beauty, right? Yeah. Wow. Okay, so, I like the coral beauty we saw yesterday. This is cute. This it's is cute. So <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. <laughs> All right, look at, I'm, I've been looking for these guys for a while. This is one of the white spotted Tremagobies. Oh, cool. And this is an adult fish. So that's one of the few fish that I would say you could put into a five gallon marine tank. Wow. And have that be acceptable. Yeah, the pictures don't do those justice. Yeah, they're very cool. Gorgeous little guys. Did you look? And this one is the, what's that <laughs> other goby we got? Oh, we got the, um, the sparkle goby or something like that. The, the list. Starry Goby. Starry Goby. Starry Goby. Eseropteryx semipunctata. Little cute little Starry Goby. Yeah, he's definitely a little stressed right now, but yep. I'm looking forward to seeing how There's those settle in. There's another little Starry Goby. Awesome. There's a Harptail Blenny. Nice. Put him with the other one. Yep. Here's one more Harptail Blenny. I think this is the one that we did get a few of because I think. I think yeah. that's going to be a pretty, a fish yep, that no more one. people think they want than know they want. Oh my. Look at those. Are those the epistophile fish? Those oh. are epistophile <laughs> file fish. Aptasia <laughs> eating file fish. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's cool. I got too excited there. Yeah. Too excited there. Wow. So the reason these are so small is because they're captive bred. So they probably already had these fish for months, I would think, yeah. to get them to yeah. this size. Yeah. Um, Worth it though, because they're going to be so much more outgoing yes. right away. Yes. Another little coral beauty. Oh, oh. this one has more color on it than yeah, the other it one. Really it's starting good. to get a lot more of that blue. Another Trimagobi. And I really like that. Yeah. All right, here we go with these guys now. What's this? Oh, uh, here, this is for Charles. Oh, oh look at that. Really <laughs> what do we got here, Charles? These are the blue striped clowns that I'm dying for. Uh huh. Oh, they came so in cute. bigger than I expected. Same. I expected them to be like the size of like the coral beauties. Yeah, those are very cool. All right, <laughs> one <teeth>. last. <laughs> Look at this. There it is. That is a captive raised tank bred yellow tank. Wow. His colors are definitely washed out. He's a little freaked out right now, but he is a gorgeous little guy. Well, I think the tangs do start off a little bit clear, so he might be retaining some of that coloration too. Yeah. So that yellow will brighten up as they age. Yep. I've never seen this small. Oh. Very cool. <laughs> wow. Gotta make sure these little guys get plenty of food at that size. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. I they, love they it. should be great. We will keep you guys informed oh on how they do. Otherwise, thanks a lot for watching. Keep those hands wet.